Alright guys, welcome to part 11. Uh, it's been forever since I've done this. And I... I <laughs> it seems like every video it's taken me longer and longer to post up, but uh, a lot of people have requested for me to continue this, so I'm going to keep continuing playing. Since I've actually posted my last video, I've done a playthrough of Silent Hill 1 and 2 uh, on Twitch. So, it kind of gives me a different perspective on how the game, this game plays versus those type of games. And my perspective is, there, there isn't really any kind of boss battles in this game. Also, there isn't, um, what do I want to say, there isn't, uh, like a way to make, this game doesn't really make you conserve ammo, but it seems like it actually makes you conserve health. So let's just continue. I watched a little bit of the last video, um, but basically I'm just going into it blind from the last video. Uh, I don't really remember <laughs> much of what went on, but we'll keep going. I, rem I know I died here, and uh, I'm low on health. And maybe I forgot to reload. No. Didn't forget to reload. Sorry, I, I, this game too also doesn't support dual monitors, so I have to kind of keep readjusting. Uh, readjusting where she walks. Oh man, I was hoping I didn't die there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I really feel like if this game was released in the proper era, it would have got the tension it deserves. Um, Graphic-wise, and it doesn't have much of a story though. That's also there's no other characters that interact with you like it's like a story based. Like the original Silent Hill has a lot of characters that you interact with in between uh, different sections of the map. about conserving ammo, I think maybe I'm out of ammunition. I have one bullet left in this, but I do have uh, eight magnum rounds. I don't know if I should have been conserving from the start. Statues, statue, a circular hole. Okay, I think we have a piece for that, right? We have just one piece. So there's probably about like four other pieces. Another thing that's, uh, I don't know, kind of like, I don't, I don't want to say like negative, but kind of makes it difficult to play is the lack of map. Because um, we have this map, of course, but it doesn't really tell you the location that you're in. You know, you kind of have to do guesswork, and to me, I find that very annoying. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some people might like it, but... I don't, I don't like it. This is just an antidote, right? Yeah. Alright. Let's let me save, because... 
really low on health, and that would be bad if I just died here. So we gotta find three more circular, two more circular pieces um, to progress. Oh, there's some ammo. Nine millimeter bullets, good. Oh crap, I didn't even see that guy. They, t they still take quite a few shots with the Magnum. I was hoping it would be less. Alright, here's some, here's some ammunition. Let me switch weapons now. Good. There we go. Oops. And reload. Now I don't remember if I checked this building, but I'm gonna check all buildings in this area again. Just to double check. I really doubt the pieces are really- whoa. Oh, are you serious? There's two zombies here? I'm dead. Okay, maybe not go in that building. <laughs> Good thing I saved outside the door. I can't reach this building until I get enough help. That's for sure. So maybe... Don't... Well, I'm still gonna have to magnum headshot that guy. You know what? I don't really need ammo. Uh, not ammo. I don't really need to fire at that zombie at the beginning because I remember that melee weapon worked really well. So let's let's do that instead. At least conserve a little bit of ammo. There's no there's no point in going all out. <laughs> <laughs> with a freaking magnum for uh, that enemy. That enemy is fairly easy to kill. Going outside here. Then we'll skip that first door until I find a health pack. Because that's going to be really hard to fight off those two enemies at one time. But I'll, I'll save also outside that door once I uh, find another health pack. Yeah, I think we should be good. Hopefully I don't die here. This yeah. I think he's dead, right? She moves so slow. It's not too bad, I guess. It could be worse. I find the main character for Silent Hill 3, uh, I forget her name at the moment, but uh, I find her to walk really slow. Even when she's at full health, like, it just seems that she walks extremely slow. Nothing useful, okay. Alright, let's check out this building. Hopefully there's some health around here somewhere. Oh, I was just in this one. Okay. I remember going in that... that... building. Okay, so that is the one we placed the part in, and this is the one that has all the enemies. Uh, let's check out this one. I'm sorry if I'm going in the same building and you guys are watching this continuously. Uh, I really apologize for that. Okay. 
believe that's where I got the circular piece. So, my next best bet is to fight off the zombies. The only thing is I don't have very much health. This is really gonna suck. Um, what I can do though, let's see. So I wonder if I like fire some shots, exit the building, fire shots, exit the building. I wonder if that would even help. I'm gonna use the magnum though. That's for sure. Now I can get as much shots off as possible. Alright, I'm gonna save it here. Go nuts on them. Uh, maybe just see if I can go nuts completely. Like, just fire the crap out of them and maybe kill both of them and get lucky. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's just try it. Okay, it worked. My god. <laughs> oh no, now she's walking really slow. Hopefully there's a health kit here. I hope so. This would really suck. Oh my god, there's another guy! Oh, and it's... Oh my god. And it exited my window. <laughs> That's why I was spinning in circles. Dual monitor, no dual monitor support for this is really bad. My freaking, my mouse, this game, you could probably just play this game uh, without a mouse. It's, that's how, like, it, it plays. Because every time I move my mouse to the left too far, and if it goes into the next screen, I, that's what happens, I spin in circles. Alright, so we know there's one more guy there. And I was successfully able to kill uh, two of them. So we'll just look out for the next guy. Hopefully there's help there. If there isn't, uh, it's a waste of time. That, that would suck. Alright, I'm going to try to headshot all three of them. Or at least two of them. So that way I don't get attacked here. But we'll see what happens. My luck has not been very good. At least he bit me and didn't attack me. Okay. Um, I need to heal. Because I'm infected. Equipped. Antidotes. Use. Okay. So I got one more guy left here. And I'll be walking really slow, but that's alright. As long as I didn't die. The hitboxes on this game are really strange. Sometimes their head freaking explodes, and sometimes it doesn't do head damage. piece here and I believe there's one more area um, that I missed so we're just gonna crawl along there and then we'll get that last item I need to put into the that uh I don't know what you want to call it the puzzle I really wanted to do uh, clear out that area without getting hit, but it's uh, it's real difficult. It's really difficult not being able to move my mouse completely to the right. Like I could pan my mouse all the way to the left as far as I want because there's no monitor in that direction. But if I pan it to the right, um, it's not. It's a no go. I could disable this monitor, but then sometimes this game bugs out and it won't capture properly, so I won't be able to monitor if it's capturing properly. So, it's a double-edged sword, I guess. Oh, this is the wrong building. I've been in this one already. That's where I got the second piece. I, th I thought this was a completely new building.
So I have to go... Oh. Okay, I got my buildings mixed up. I thought the one I just went in was this one. The contents inside of it. I swear, this game, you can get lost so easily. A lot of the areas look very similar to each other. All, like, all grayed and washed out type of colors. <clears throat> see, when I, when I was in here, I didn't... I didn't see this item here, so... I've kind of wandered around, um, and did a little, uh, wandered around while I was well, just to see, um, what items I missed. Because, uh, after going into that building and being crippled and slow and killing the enemies in there, so I'm gonna do a little edit, there'll be a little edit magic. <laughs> So what I might have said previously might have not made sense to this video, this part of the video, but you guys get the picture. Alright, so we're going to place this stone here. And I'm not sure what it reveals, so hopefully it's something good and hopefully we can get some health. That would be nice. Extremely, extremely slow. I doubt any health is going to pop out. <laughs> when do you ever do puzzles in games like this and health pops out? It's, it's very rare. more peace. It would be nice, though. We'll see. There's something inside. A strange object made of stone. Alright, there's a strange object made of stone, and I have no health. Alright. So I think that should conclude this part of the video, and we'll continue searching the area uh, to place this stone on the next video. So thanks for watching guys. Appreciate you all keeping up with me even though I've been lagging on posting these videos. You guys have a great day. Take care.